Connecting a switch with a bulb is as simple as ABCD. Once you know it, you will be able to make it a kid's or a child's play. In this video, I will show you exactly that. Welcome. We are using a one-way switch, one gun, to light up our bulb here. So I'll go ahead and connect. But before that, it is important for you to take note. This is how a one gang one way looks like. It is one gang because of that switching gear is only one. There are sometimes there are two or three or four. And then here it is a one way because you only connect one way like that. You have the L common that is coming from the supply and you have the L which is going to the bulb. Now, at the bulb holder, it is important for you to note that there are two categories of wires here. There are wires that are going to the switch and there are wires that are incoming from the source. We have number one, the earth wire. We have the live and we have the neutral represented by black. Now, for these two wires that are going to the switch, one will be connected to the live wire here and the other one will go to the bulb holder and now when it comes to the neutral it will be connected to the bulb holder as well as the earth connection so that is how this connection at the circular box will be so we will first of all terminate this one so if you are getting value out of this video kindly smash that like button we have the incoming as well as the one going direct to the switch, like that. You could also have it going all the way to the switch without having a termination here. And then you tape it like that. So these three will go to the bulb. And then this one will remain inside just like so. So this one will connect the neutral to the bulb holder, will connect the this half to the bulb holder as well as this earth connection. It's also important to note that the wire that is used for lighting is either 1.5 or 1.0 millimeter square. That is the cross-sectional area of the wire. So connect it like that. For me, I've chosen to start with connecting the switches. So this is the L common where I connect the wire from the source or the supply. And then the L that is going to my bulb, I connect there. So this is a one-way switch, one gang. And when you press there on the downside, it will be lighting the bulb. There sometimes you find that someone has screwed this switch opposite like that. And so it means that when you switch on the bulb, it will be switching on on the upper side, which is not a good standard, which is not the practice that we follow. It has to light the bulb at the downward position. So when installing it, you ensure that you screw it like that so that you don't switch on the bulb from that position but you switch on from that position and switch off at that position this bulb holder is referred to as a pin type bulb holder it has three main connections we have the earth connection the neutral and the face connection or the live connection. So uh, we will connect our earthing on this one. We will connect our live on this one and our neutral on this one. So we have our earth connection connected. We go to the neutral and connect it. Remember the wire has to be a quality wire 
with a quality insulation. When screwing also, it is important to ensure that the screws do not screw the insulation, but only screw the wire part. And you make sure that you screw properly or tightly so that this is a mechanically and electrically sound wire. Then after that, we ensure that we insert all the wires there so that we leave a provision in case there will be repairs in future and the wires might be reduced. The more the wires that you leave inside there, the better it will be for the electrician who might come to do any maintenance there. So we have our holder like that. So now I am done and the bulb is working perfectly. Now if you are a do-it-yourself enthusiast, you can go ahead and connect as many bulbs as you wish and have fun while at it. If you are a student, this is a great video that can help you perfect your skills and become better at this electrical field. And also if you are practicing, I wish you all the best. Now, if you would want to know how an instant shower head is connected, in the next video, I'm just doing that. If you're not subscribed, then subscribe so that you will not miss either of these. See you in the next one.